wait, hold on a second. Look at them boobies. She didn't have boobies in her picture. I feel like these magazines are just stupid photoshopped. <laughs> well, of course, those are totally photo- <laughs> Ryan! I feel like I deserve a medal! Click. Holy shit, that's so loud. I gotta turn that down. Open transcript. Uh, I like to do that. No, I don't get shit. Ah! <laughs> I won't let me press that thing. You bitch. Dur you're all dirty bitches, all right? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ryan the Hobo. I don't know if this is in the middle of the video or at the end of the video. I don't know anymore. I'm doing long videos. I just got finished doing a video where it ends with a with a good old up uplifting story about murderous cannibal pedophiles. Yeah! And that just gets your blood a pumping. I freaking need to play something that'll get me happy again. You know what makes me happy? Bears that murder children. Just realize that. Hey, but they're privileged and older kids. So, I mean, look, honestly, look at that. Does that look like a child to you? No. That looks like a man on a mission, if you ask me. Hey, hey, buddy. Look at, wow, wow. That takes determination to put on them pants. I'll tell you what. I just clicked on them. Game froze. This is my day today. Wow. I somehow clicked out of the game while trying to click on his trousers. I forgot the voices. Oh my god, it's been a couple days and I forgot them all. Are you okay? Is everyone okay? Oh, that's it. Good. Uh, all I know is it sounded like Papyrus. Hey, sweetie. True. If we do not move forward, we learn the only choice is to push ahead, big boy. <laughs> All right, listen, I ain't talking to you anymore. You're that sassy Sue. Listen. I know how you feel, but all we can do now is check it out right. Check it out right? I don't know. Shut your mouth. That's not a woman. That's a holy cow. Now let's talk to the actual holy cow. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I made her say it. I feel bad. Something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me. No, no, it's not just you. What? What the hell? Is this some kind of bad joke? I don't know. What do you have to say? <sighs> Shit. What the hell kind of game are we playing? This is bad. What was that announcement? It's like totally creps. See, I'm cool and hip because they said creps. All right, I'm leaving you losers. I got I got business to attend to. That's not the button. That's X. Uh, R is leave. Got it. Leave the area? Yeah, okay. Let's see what they're up to. What in the blue blazes is here? Did I find the sex dungeon? Hey, I'm going gym. I'm ready for exercise. I got to power up my glutes. Listen, I haven't been to a gym anytime soon, but I don't think there's any samurai swords in schools. God! I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. <coughs> it really ain't that much different from the time I was spent in juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um. And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? Uh. The... the they just, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I, I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <sighs> Shit. Uh, well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared of nothing. Let, let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Where's whoever called us here? Mondo, stop right there! Stop! No running! Well then. I too shall go. They all are very sexy men that I shall fondle. <laughs> You're gonna be alright, buddy! My guy, don't die! Hey, hey, wait! Don't leave me here all alone! Have you noticed I've given up and just he's papyrus now? Why did it tell me? It literally is the exact same. Oh! 
very interesting. Another surveillance camera. I feel like we're being watched every second. I don't like it. She likes it. <laughs> this school has a lot of TVs. I can't handle this. They couldn't all just be for that weird school broadcast, could they? No, they also like to watch How I Met Your Mother. This is bad. I'm totes getting a bad vibe right now. Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Did you not just see them all run gung-ho to touch that pudgy belly of that teddy bear? What's up there? A display case. There's all kind of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny faction of all their awards. Now that just seems like a cheat in school. Hey, let's get a bunch of awards. Let's just steal everyone's best talent and then go to town on the competitions. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. No, she is. She just doesn't give a shit. If everyone dies, she'll be like, party at my place. I'm coming, everybody. Don't worry. I will give you average advice. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Dodgeball! <laughs> Just like, <laughs> as soon as he walks in, a ball hits him. Ah, god damn it! I think you broke my nose! No way, it's alright. But still, it really hurt! Oh. It really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. I have no idea what voices to do for any of these. All right, Ryan, start making them up. See, told you. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal we all were. Hey there, howdy, hello. Is everyone here? Good. Then let's get things rolling. Listen, Bear, I like you. You've got things like balls, a belly, and voice acting. I like all of those those traits. And cutscenes! I'm excited. I am also an ant. Don't worry, ant. <laughs> Sir, we can... We can... Teddy Bear? Shut up, Chiro! I don't even remember who you are! Sir, 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 we have we have a chair for you. No, it makes me feel good to sit in it up on here. I want the world to see my belly button penis. Is it a belly button or is it a penis? That's for you to decide. Also, you like my catchy new theme song? Turn that shit up! And don't you think just because I was in the beginning episode as a teddy bear that I'm a teddy bear? I am Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! Thank God! I was right! Except I said principal, because I'm a dirty American. Oh, Makoto! Oh, Makoto! Oh, I could just stab you 117 times right now. Really? You're the only one that's not gonna talk? It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I always wanted in my life! I just wanted to hug his big old black and white tum-tums. It just motorboated. Oh, there goes my headphones. What I was seeing was... It was... Utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. Oh, look, they gave him a tiny crown. Oh, that's clever. Such a bright voice a, and a carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all the anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. <laughs> what? Wait, why would that make you have fear? He sounds like Teddy. I feel like Teddy has gone, like, ballistic. See? What? That teddy bear can talk? C calm down. You sure there's just a speaker inside it? Hey, come on now. Monokuma, I had such high hopes for you. 
And also, that's not even close to what your, your text says. I told you! That's Papyrus. No! Has everyone evolved into Papyrus? This entire game! It's Papyrus game! He's a virus taking over the game! I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear! Master. I'm not a cool one. And I'm the headmaster, you... Damn it! Say what? what? It moved! Oh, yeah, but it's still papyrus. <laughs> Seriously, man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child plaything? You're cutting me deep, deeper than... The... My... 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 My remote control system is so complex. Even the folks at NASA... It's me, Daddy Papyrus. I'm just making my cameo. Uh, NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah! But don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams! <laughs> I just couldn't bear it! Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I, I have to go over here for a second. <laughs> well. Is it impossible for a bear to not use bear puns? Is this just a thing? Also, it's really helping my theory that this is really just Teddy. Bear? That? Really? You are... unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down! Ah, uh, okay, so... He, uh, he's abandoned the gang. Good morning! I don't know how to deal with this bear. I'm, I know I'm supposed to hate him. I know he's gonna turn evil. But you can't, you can't change what's in my heart. Everybody stand at attention and bow, and good morning! You hear me? Good morning? Oh, he, I think he's actually saying it. Good morning! The bear's like, okay, buddy, listen. I am, you're really scaring me. I know I'm the bad guy, but I, whew, you are on high. You don't, you don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then, let's commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistakes. You few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such a splendid hope. You will all live in communal life together. Solely within the confines of this school! Makoto, you know, I was talking. You didn't have to scream it back there. I'm sorry! Okay, I forgive you. You're my favorite student. I'm once again Papyrus. <laughs> God damn it, Papyrus. Get off my show! Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then. Regarding the end date for this communal life. Too bad. There isn't one! You're all gonna have to be my friends forever because no one else will hang out with me. They always just hear one bear pun and kill themselves. It's almost like they couldn't bear to live with it. Oh god, another one went down. <laughs> like you see them. <laughs> one of the girls just just hug herself. Ah! How does this keep happening? In other words, you'll all be here until the end, the day you die. Nothing, Makoto? What? I was on my phone, sorry. Such is the school life you've been assigned. Oh god, you want me to do a woman's voice after this? What? What? Did just say, until the day you die? Yep. yep. Oh, oh, oh! 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 You rascal, you. You got my heart there. He's grabbed it. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so... Oh god, I almost threw up. 
That's okay, let's just go back in. We ain't stopping now. So you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the last of our worries right now. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I'm not screwing with you. I'm no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh-huh. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. Yeah, I'd like to order a pizza. My God, oh, put that food away. I, I, I'm hungry, though. I want a, a pepperoni pizza. Hey! You better order something for me. I like... I like the Hawaiian pizza. Yeah, also I'd like a Hawaiian pizza. Hey, make sure they have the, they have the cheesy crust. Do you have the cheesy crust? Yeah, they have the cheesy crust. Oh boy, I sure love them cheesy crusts. But they don't, they don't help with my big belly. <laughs> uh, was I throwing a speech? Sir, you were you talk about the murder of children. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I just got so excited over the pizza. So you don't have to worry about those dirty, dirty lamb beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school? They're there to keep us trapped in here? Really? It took you that long to figure that out? Oh boy, Makoto. <laughs> I'm sorry to regret inviting you here. That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. Hello? Hello? Pizza delivery! Oh boy, the pizza delivery! I sure like pizza! I opens the door, all the kids run out. No! My plan foiled! Who are you, mysterious pizza man? Jane Parmesan, how you doing? So, with all that in mind, Feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. I sure did because I knocked on my desk and my freaking fist hurts. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if this, if the school or whatever else is behind it all. This is just, just a really bad joke. Damn you. Yeah, cut the shit out. It isn't funny anymore. I think I've decided from now on I'm gonna give the baseball kid Krillin's voice just because I'm running out of voices. Or I'm gonna give the spiky hero. Someone's getting the voice of Krillin. You keep saying this as a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you were taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Am I a, am, am I pretty? Absolutely not. Oh. oh, I wish you lied more now. Having to live here forever would be quite a problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decide of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you already decided you want to leave? Hey, I'm, I'm allergic to bears. Oh, okay, you get out. <laughs> listen, listen, this school is an evil school, but we are not having an epidemic. Oh, but you know, I guess I did me forget to mention one thing. There is a way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually. Oh, is it take sweet pictures of a cute bear? <laughs> You're so deliciously evil. As headmasters, I've crafted a special clause for those who. Oh god, that really hurt my voice. For those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, then. now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, 
they and they alone would allow to leave the school. That my students in the graduation clause. What? What, what do you mean by addictive? Disrespectful to harmony. I ain't gonna scream like Makoto, cause I'm a big dumb dumb. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another, M M mother. No, I I said murder. Murder. Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludging, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it, it doesn't matter. You, you must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Makoto, Makoto, listen. Group up, group up, Makoto. He said we have to kill someone here. He did not specify type. If we kill a bug in this room, it technically counts. He's a man of it. He's a bear of his word. If we kill that cockroach, Makoto, why are you bleeding? Ah, oh, for frick's sake, we already lost. A chill down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. I bet that got your brain, brain juices of flowing. It got my Pillsbury Doughboy laugh to come out. Beats the heck out of the human catching a salmon, huh? Wait, human catches it. Sir, 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 Mr. Mono, Monokuma Nama. That wasn't even close, but yes, what is it? Don't bears catch salmon. Yes, I do like a good salmon. If I offer you a salmon, will I get something in return? Yes. Hey, <laughs> six zero. What do you want? You want freedom? I like a hand job. Well, that's a that's a bit of a a weird suggestion, but you got yourself a double deal. Papyrus. <laughs> like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates dark. A darkened shadow of just there. Extreme. And I find that so darn exciting. <laughs> Stop tickling my belly. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is it's huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere as if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah, stop blabbering on with this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering? Blabbering? <laughs> what do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. He brings a valid point. You were a bit of a hypocrite. Also, hold on, bam, look at that picture. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love it, I love it. What is with this voice acting? I have never seen such sporadic voice acting in my life. If this game was all voice acted, I could get through it in a heartbeat. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over, 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 and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world, got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead, go on, kill, kill, killing spree. That's what we got this announcer. Hello, I am the killing spree announcer. Killing spree. Oh, that guy is fun. All right, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Doesn't fit the voice at all, does it? <laughs> eh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So, you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, cuz, I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... <laughs> Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way! Shoving Hiro aside, Mondo places himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like the thunder. You're fucking dead. 
Listen up, asshole! The shit's gone way too far! What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What do you mean? Like your hair? Ah! <laughs> Listen, Mondo, you got you got burned, buddy. You got burned. You knocked the headphones right off my head. That's how burned you got. Because your hair is pretty shit, buddy. You really... I, I don't even know what that is. How do you even get your hair like that? It's like if you had an afro and somehow you were able to form a, a being out of it. Phew. Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked on to his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit. I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds. No! I want to keep him. I already called my mom. She said I could keep him. What? against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations not technically not you said if we kill anybody and you're, you're technically a being shut the fuck up Woo. let me out of here i swear to christ oh man i am not used to like visual novels or anime characters saying fuck or christ like seriously it's i'm not used to it Everyone, hold on to time out, everyone. Fire alarm. This is important. Just because we're at a murder school doesn't mean we don't have fire drills around here. Hey, damn it. What? No smart ass comebacks this time? Piece of shit. Stop that goddamn beeping and say something. Watch out. Watch out. Get rid of it. Huh? Huh? Hurry, throw it. I don't know if for ferocity stunned him into silence or what but without a word he did what he was told he threw Montakuma and as soon as he did Whoa! <laughs> rest in peace Montakuma even though I'm pretty that's Montakuma one I hope his son Montakuma two will be just as good what the hell what the that sure as shit wasn't a joke it blew the hell up there was a painful ringing in my ear, and I could smell gunpowder. Makoto, he ju it just blew up. What, did you think it was made of frickin' icicles and pop rocks? Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life... I'd never seen anything like it. But... But, you know, this means... That teddy bear's been destroyed, right? I told you I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. Ah, there's another one. I feel that fits him better. You, you, you son of a bitch. You seriously tried to kill me just now. Of course. Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of my, uh, one of the school regulations after all. So, this bear, is this bear gonna be like the puppet in Saw, where he's not actually a character, it's actually someone controlling him? If so, that really will make me feel like this is just school Saw. I'll let you all off with a warning this time, but you'd better be careful from now on. Any naughty boys or girls who violate my rules won't get off with just a swat on the butt. But if you like a swat on the butt... I do! Makoto, put your hand down. This is bad. <laughs> hey, so does this mean like a bunch more of you, of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all through the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any of the rules, well, all just saw what happened, right? I won't be so forgiving with my punishments next time, so don't let it happen again! Huh? That's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well? Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. Commemorative cakes! Oh boy, I sure like cakes. Ah! Let me just pelvic thrust this card at you real quick. This is our official hand student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. Now, naturally, we call it the e-handbook. 
Can I save with it? Hmm. Ahem, yes, well, moving on. That didn't answer my question. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Anyway, always make sure to have the right one. Now this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. Is he saving one of them? I don't know if that pose was a yes or no. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, use magic carp splash on it. It keeps on ticking. And thanks to the space age design, it can withstand an impact force of all up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of the oh my gosh, it's so make sure you review it through thoroughly. You guys. You hear me say this a lot, but any violations of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect society. For example, wait, society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place uh, for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye -bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life and see ya! Man, he comes with comical sounds. This school is great, isn't it? And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? I just realized he's got some eyes that looks like they're a Naruto attack. How? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. Huh? We we have to live here forever or k k kill? <laughs> what? What just happened? Calm down. Calm down. Let me kill you. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. I have a feeling she's like some so someone from the government who's sneaking in. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Ah, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Ah, uh, uh, Kiri Giri. He didn't yell it. Ah, why you slap me? Choice number one is that we stay here, living a communal life together until we, till the day we die. And the other choice is, Indeed. if we were to get out of here alive, we'd have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone, that's... See, I remember that voice. I'm proud of myself. Don't worry, fat guy! I'll make sure you survive! I'm gonna cut you open like a tauntaun, but you will come in handy. I can't kill him. I have this greatest fear that I'm gonna find H Himafu or Fat Guy Jr. in the same exact position as Fat Guy, like the original Fat Guy, just like with the same position, dead. And I'm, I'm done. If that's the case, I have hit the pinnacle and the lowest of my career, cause Fat Guy Jr. died. We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like school, like a school. And now, we're supposed to start killing each other. This is... This is... This is just... What is it? That guy, calm down. You're gonna have a freaking heart attack on me. A lie! It's what it is! All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. <laughs> That's where more accomplished person would say, Yeah, me, yo, I'm a pretty good guy. I once helped a lady cross the street, but she was a real bitch, so I pushed her. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So, in other words... Is this anyone here who's seriously considering all of this? I'm considering that voice seeing my throat really hurts. I'm also considering the origins of that bonsai tree. Hey, that's a pretty cool bonsai tree. He's pretty good with this stuff. To that, no one had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. <laughs> Spiky hair guy Lulu looks like he's going in for a hug. Here's my opportunity. 
They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone gonna betray us? And that was how my new life began. This school, without a save feature, please give me a save feature, which had come out of nowhere is to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Serious, this kid's really weird. I finished the prologue. I get complimentary semen. Yay! Nothing better than complimentary semen on my screen. To be continued while I gotta buy the next game. <laughs> I, I really thought the game restarted because this is the opening and I've seen it like a hundred, at least this part, a hundred times. Hold on, I gotta do a dance. Oh, of course you can't see it, but that's okay. That makes it less embarrassing. Oh, frick, I got freaking copyright, not copyright strike, but... I, I got copyrighted last time with the music. Ah, oh, frick it, you can listen to it anyways. I don't even give a shit. Yes! Oh, look at them characters. Remember these guys we just talked to? Yeah, how about these ones? Remember when he had a EMP strapped to his chest and just made the waves come out? Remember that guy? I targeting his belly. I really, I'm worried about his stomach. Ooh, I really like the look of this. It's really cool. I really like this open. <laughs> oh, look at that. Muscles. Oh, I could grate cheese on them legs. Did I say out loud? It doesn't matter. Woo! This opening is beautiful. Oh, I guess baseball kid's gonna die. That's great. Why was there a truck? Are we little? All right, whatever. I can't wait to meet the truck driver. How can you not love Monokuma? Look at him. Look at him. He's about to ring the bell. So everyone can have a good old boxing match. Well, that was a really cool opening. Can I save now? <laughs> Whoa! Look at their 8-bit graphics! Oh, mm. Mm. I'm just I'm just eating in this uh this atmosphere here. Not atmosphere, that's not the right word. Achievement right here. You've received the school cross pres present. Oh cool. I'm a part of Oh and I got an achievement. Ooh, 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 I got an achievement. I got an achievement and I finished a whole recording without quitting because I was determined and I saved the game. Boom! Bang! Boom! Nope, none of your opinions matter right now. I'm getting off because I have lost any form of voice. So I'll see you next time. Wow, her muscly legs are really muscular. Like, I'm, I'm serious. I pr I'm pretty sure she could get through one of them windows. Oh, 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 okay. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if we have a choice who to pick to live or die. I'm not too sure. I'm. When I say I literally know nothing about this game, I mean it. I went in completely blind because I thought it'd be more fun, especially with this game being known as insane. All I knew was Monokuma going in. I knew I didn't even know any of these characters. So I picked my three characters that I liked the most. That I was gonna pick baseball kid, fat guy, muscle girl, right? Those are my three choices that I was going to try to make friends with. Here's what I thought. Nick and John. Nick from the Undertale series and John from Minecraft Hardcore and other stuff are going to pick two more characters that I will um, go after. Um, I will find out past the third episode when they watch with like all the characters because I'm, I'm going to watch it with them. Uh, and they will pick a character that will um, that I will make sure to try to keep alive or I'll add to my, my group of people I'm going to try to go after. Oh, and I completely forgot. I also want to ask Matt Tardis uh, who he would want me to save. 
Uh, if there's a particular person he likes, I will try to make friends with that person as well. But yeah, I just want to give you a heads up. So maybe either the next episode or the episode after, where I'll find out what, what characters they pick. Of course, it might be null and void, seeing I don't know how the game works. I'm figuring it's going like you pick your characters you want to help out. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing you probably could save everyone, but... I'm going to try to make friends with certain characters. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to. Oh, well. Anyways, choose some pip, everyone. My voice is dead to the world.